Hey guys, it's Adam here, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about three of the best VPNs that you can use for Pirate Bay. So, using torrenting sites like the Pirate Bay, it can make you vulnerable to cyber threats like trackers, hackers, and malware. And the most effective way to protect yourself from these dangers is by using a VPN whilst you torrent. The problem is that it's hard to find one that offers the top-notch security features, leak-proof encryption, and IP masking that you need to stay safe. So to save you time and trouble, I've tested more than 30 VPNs to find the best ones to use for the Pirate Bay in 2022. And I'll touch more of that in just a moment. Okay, so why can't you access the Pirate Bay in the first place? Well, governments in Australia, the US, the UK, Romania, Greece, Russia, Spain, and 13 other countries block the Pirate Bay to prevent potential copyright violations. As a result, your ISP in these countries can see that you're trying to load the Pirate Bay and will instead redirect you to a page saying it's banned. Now, while I don't condone downloading copyrighted material without permission, there are movies and songs in the public domain that are perfectly legal to download. And a VPN will keep you safe on the Pirate Bay when you access the copyright-free material because it encrypts your traffic. That means no third parties can see your online activities. But you should still proceed with caution and check your local laws before accessing any sites that are banned in your location. And even if the Pirate Bay is legal in your country, I recommend using a VPN to keep yourself safe whilst you use it. When you use programs like BitTorrent to download torrents, your real IP address is displayed for anyone to see. This leaves you vulnerable to cyber crimes, but a high quality VPN will keep you anonymous and hide your real location. So which VPN should you use? Well, after extensive testing, my top VPN recommendation for the Pirate Bay is ExpressVPN for its security features and ease of use. Okay, so ExpressVPN is one of the fastest VPNs in the industry. It allows P2P activity and torrenting on all of its 3000 servers in 90 locations worldwide, meaning that you can access the Pirate Bay and share and download torrent files from almost anywhere. And you'll have lightning fast download speeds no matter where you are. Also, your torrenting activities are safe and anonymous with ExpressVPN. For example, AES 256-bit encryption, an automatic kill switch, and a zero logging policy keep your online activities, browsing habits, and private information invisible to the world. On top of that, you get added protection with ExpressVPN's trusted server technology. All of its servers are operated on a RAM-only basis and never write to hard drives, and Express automatically wipes all data from them with each reboot. It's also nice that it supports industry standard OpenVPN and IKE v2 stroke IPsec protocols, as well as Onion over VPN for Tor, all of which are secure protocols for torrenting. And if you're an avid streamer, ExpressVPN has you covered. Use any of its servers to bypass geo restrictions and binge watch all of your favorite shows. In fact, I was easily able to access Amazon Prime Video, Netflix, and BBC iPlayer. Another win for ExpressVPN is that it lets you connect up to five devices at a time on a single account, so you won't need multiple VPN subscriptions to cover your equipment. And if you want to protect even more devices, you can install ExpressVPN at the router level so that every device connected to your home network is covered. I also like that you can pay for your subscription using Bitcoin, another way ExpressVPN protects your anonymity. And on top of speed and security, you can try ExpressVPN risk-free to see how you like it because it's backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can just get your money back through the 24-7 live chat. In fact, when I tested the process, I had my refund in my bank account within three days with no questions asked. And even one better, if you'd like to give Express a try, I'll include a link in the description where you can learn more and save some money off the regular price if you're interested. Okay, now onto my second VPN recommendation for the Pirate Bay, which is NordVPN for its massive server network. So NordVPN has one of the largest networks of any major VPN, with more than 5,100 servers across 60 countries. 
It also offers fast connections and unlimited bandwidth, but the wide server network means you should be able to secure a low latency connection from almost anywhere. And Nord is flexible enough to create a sophisticated security setup. It uses 256-bit AES encryption by default, but also includes a process-specific kill switch and protection against WebRTC, port forwarding, IPv6 and DNS leaks. Also, users can choose to block ads and malware automatically, protect Wi-Fi connections automatically, use two VPNs simultaneously, and even connect to Tor over the VPN. And I love that Nord has a strict no logs policy so you can rest assured your privacy is in good hands. It's also helpful that you can download apps for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android and iOS. And then because Nord permits up to six simultaneous connections, you can use it to protect all of your most commonly used devices. So overall, NordVPN is a solid choice for torrenting on the Pirate Bay. It offers strong security, very fast speeds and excellent unblocking capability at a low price. Plans include a 30 day money back guarantee, so you don't have to worry about losing your money if you're not happy. So now it's time for my best budget pick, which is Surfshark. So Surfshark is fairly new to the VPN scene, but is proving itself a fierce competitor. It operates over 3,200 servers across more than 65 countries and can reliably unblock not just the Pirate Bay, but also services like Netflix from abroad. Also, Surfshark speeds are decent and torrenting is allowed on any server. Unlike most other VPNs on the market, Surfshark has no connection limit, meaning you can secure any number of devices simultaneously. And Surfshark more than lives up to expectations when it comes to privacy and security. It keeps your traffic safe from prying eyes using a combination of WebRTC, IPv6 and DNS leak protection, a kill switch and 256-bit encryption. I also like that you can allow certain apps to bypass the VPN using the built-in split tunneling feature. Surfshark doesn't log any personally identifiable information, but if you'd like an even greater privacy experience, feel free to pay in Bitcoin, Ethereum or Ripple. And like Express and Nord, Surfshark also offers 24-7 live chat support and a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you're not happy with it. All right, so there you have it, three of the best VPNs that you can use for torrenting on the Pirate Bay. But before I end this video, I would like to answer some of the most frequently asked questions that I get about this topic. So first off, is torrenting legal? Yes, torrenting itself is perfectly legal. The illegal part comes in when you download copyrighted and other legally protected files without consent from the owner. Sharing or downloading non-copyright materials and open source software is completely legal worldwide. Okay, so the next question, does using a VPN for torrenting impact speed? Well, using a VPN will always affect your speed on some level no matter what you're doing, but with a high quality VPN you won't notice much of a difference. And the third question is, can I use the same VPN on both Mac OS and Windows for P2P file sharing? All of the VPNs on this list are compatible with Mac OS and Windows, as well as a number of other popular mobile and desktop platforms. Still, it's important to check compatibility before paying for a subscription. Okay, so hopefully this video was helpful. If so, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And just as a reminder, if you are interested in trying out ExpressVPN, Nord or Surfshark, make sure you check out the special discount links that I will put in the description area below so that you can save some money. Also, if you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Make sure you stay safe online and I will catch you in the next video.